It's Ledge here on another Rust tutorial. We're going over both the combiner and splitter items that work in tandem with conveyors in Rust. Let's keep this one short and sweet. First, let's start with the combiners. The combiner is exactly what you'd think. It's used to combine conveyor paths to consolidate items from multiple boxes or other storage containers. If you don't know how conveyors work, be sure to watch my video covering that industrial item. Each combiner has three entry points and can connect three conveyor paths at a time. From here, you use the output and connect it to the final box you want it to arrive at. You need to set a conveyor to each entry port you're using to allow the path through of items. You do not need to place any conveyors to the output of the combiner. It will automatically send the combined items to the desired box. On top of this, you can rig up multiple combiners into other combiners if you exceed the use of just one which can come in handy, especially in large bases. As for the splitter, this item also has a similar function, but can be used in a lot of scenarios. The splitter's job is to separate items from one storage adapter to separate conveyors, maybe one for guns, one for resources, and one for food, let's say. There is one entry port on this item, and you do not need to connect the conveyor from the box you're taking items from before connecting it to the splitter. From here, you simply connect any of the three out ports of the splitter into a conveyor and then to a desired box. Ultimately sorting up the three passive conveyors from one storage adapter. Very handy if you have a depot box that is used to sort through everything you find in the world of rust. Like the combiner, you can connect multiple splitters together if you need to split a box from more than three conveyor lines. Just be sure to save one of the out ports on the original splitter to connect to the input of another splitter. You can use this infinitely using no additional power. I hope this video was to the point and helpful in answering the basic functions of both the conveyor and the splitter in Rust. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe. There's many more tutorials to come. With that said, check out some of my other videos if you want to learn more. Happy rusting, my friends. Take it easy until next time.